Okay, let's learn Venn diagrams. And I'm going to try to teach you this in about seven minutes. So that's the goal for this uh, video. Um, if you're new to my YouTube channel, I'm a middle and high school math teacher. Been on YouTube for many, many years and literally have hundreds of uh, videos that can help you out. I also have a complete uh, math learning system of various levels of mathematics and a lot of different type of courses. So if you're in need of math help, I'm going to leave the link to the description of this video um, if you're interested in, in more of my formal uh, math education uh, training. So with that being said, let's talk about Venn diagrams. Now, I have a basic Venn diagram here, and they're pretty intuitive. I think that um, if you just kind of look at it, we can kind of maybe kind of figure it out, right? So this is an example of a Venn diagram, a pretty simple one. So we have two circles here, and let's say uh, I'm going to call this whole group of people my family. This is my entire family. Now, I have some folks here in my family that like baseball, and I have others that like football, and then we have some folks kind of in between that like both, okay, both uh, baseball and football. So let's kind of use this simple example to explain what a Venn diagram is. So in this circle here, it says like baseball, we have these people, right? Bill, Dave, Sarah, John, Sam, Dee, and Danny. So they all like baseball. Now let's look at the folks that like football. It's Lisa, Jeff, Rod, Vince, Sam, D, and Danny. Now, if you see here that these folks, they uh, both like baseball and football. So a Venn diagram is a way to kind of show these relationships between what we call sets, okay? So this circle here represents one set. Now the people in this set, and set notation is just like a little bracket, and the set is set, uh, simply a collection of items. So this particular set, let's say likes baseball, I can just say, okay, who's in the like baseball set? So who are the members of that set, if you will? So it's gonna be Bill, Dave, Sarah, John, Sam, D, and Danny, right? So all these folks are members or elements of this set called likes baseball. Now we could do the same thing for the likes football and we'll notice again that Sam, D, and Danny are members of both sets. So a Venn diagram um, allows us, so we have, let me just kind of uh, slow down here for a second. So we have one set here, we have another set here, and then we have kind of some over um, some things going on with uh, the sets overlapping. So a Venn diagram is a graphical way, generally we use circles, to show relations uh, relationships between sets. Now I'll talk about this Helena Josh here in a second. So let's just give the, the, let's give these sets a different name. Let's call this set A and let's call this set B, okay? Now, I'm gonna kinda get into this set A and set B here for a second, just a little bit easier notation than the likes baseball and likes football. We can give any set any name, so we'll go. We'll call these this circle to the left A and this circle to the right B, because I'm gonna talk a little bit more beyond Venn diagrams. Venn diagrams are, of course, a graphical way to talk about the relationship between sets or things that are a collection of items, right? Um, but I'm going to use um, some formal set notation here in a second. So we can see Sam, D, and Danny are a member of both sets. Okay, so this intersection here, this right here, is kind of like um, where we like to use Venn diagrams. Okay, so if there was nothing there, let's imagine there was no names. Let's just take these guys out here for a second. So what would that tell us? Well, if you notice, there's no names in common. So in my family, uh, people either like baseball or football. Nobody likes both, right? So if I put in, say, Sam, well, that's there's one person in my entire family that likes both. So you kind of see how a Venn diagram is a nice graphical way to um, uh, see again relationship between collections or what we call sets now typically in a Venn diagram we'll have like a big square around everything so my entire family includes all these people that like baseball football and both base baseball and football 
Okay, again, that's these folks in the middle. It's called an inter inter uh, intersection. But what about this over here? Okay, you'll see this with Venn diagrams. You'll see some things outside of the circles. So what do these people represent? Well, Helen and Josh don't like baseball or football, so we can't put them in either one of these sets. So these are folks that are not members of either one of these sets. Okay, so I wanted to show you here, I wanted to name this set, this circle here A, and this circle here B. So the intersection, so if you remember originally, this was Sam, D, and Danny. Okay, and they were members of both uh, circles. Okay, they both like baseball and they both like football. So they're in the middle. But this what this they they what this part of the circle represents something called the intersection. Okay, the intersection, kind of the overlapping part of these two sets. So the notation for that is a little upside down U. Okay, so A intersect. B is this overlapping period or this overlapping uh, region here. So this would be Sam, D, and Danny. Okay, now I'm kind of drifting in to kind of set theory. It's not that difficult, but if you're talking about Venn diagrams, you're probably going to be seeing set notation. Now let's, let me show you one other one here, and that's A union B. So A intersect B is the overlapping basically this these this little set here are these members are in both a and b okay that's what this represents now a union b means give me all the members okay these members are called elements of both a and b so we're just going to just make one gigantic set so a union b would be bill dave sarah john Sam, D, Danny, Lisa, Jeff, Rod, Vince. We would just lay all, we would put all those names here and then just kind of close it out. In the interest of time, I'm not going to write out everyone's name, but we just write everyone's name down. And by the way, I wouldn't need to write Sam, D, and Danny twice. As long as they're represented once, that's fine. So this is union, okay? You kind of remember that because it looks like a U. And this is intersection, okay? So these are some things that you definitely want to kind of um, get a, have a sense of when we're talking about Venn diagrams. And there's other things about sets, uh, like subsets, etc. But again, Venn diagrams, uh, pretty, uh, pretty simple graphical way to see what's going on between uh, set and their various relations. Okay? Okay, so let's go and wrap it up. I'm hopeful that I'm around seven minutes. But again, if I went over a little bit, I apologize. So I'm going to go ahead and leave a link uh, in the description of this video to my math learning program, teach middle school math, high school math, advanced math, etc. So whatever your needs are, I very well could have a uh, program that can help you out. Again, I literally have hundreds of uh, videos on my YouTube channel, so hopefully you'll consider subscribing. If you enjoyed this video, I definitely uh, appreciate a thumbs up and leave me some feedback. Uh, what grade are you in? What uh, you know, um, are you going for a particular test? Are you studying for the, the SAT or ACT? This Venn diagram stuff, by the way, is probably kind of, it's taught even like in elementary school and you can kind of see various levels of it repeated as you go on through middle school and high school. So you could be in college and you could be studying Venn diagrams. So um, again, you could be, you know, an elementary student watching this video, and hopefully this is, will explain things, or you can be a high school student or a college student to watch this video. All this material will apply equally. But with that being said, I definitely appreciate your time. I wish you all the best in mathematics, and have a great day.